As we continue to celebrate our country's diverse culture and also rich heritage during the month of September, Woolworths is launching their Africa Homeware Collection. Now, Shekinah Rose, Head of Trend and Design for Woolworths Home, is here to introduce us to their new collection in collaboration with a local African artisan. Shekinah, thank you for being here. You're welcome. I'm really excited to get into this. I, was, I kept peeping a bit to the <laughs> left to see everything gorgeous that we have in, in front of us. Yes. And we've got to get into it. But first of yes. all, let's talk about the inspiration that really went behind this to partner with African artisans across the continent. Yeah. So the aim of this collection was really to celebrate, mm. first of all, and to showcase craft, African craft in the form of collectible decor items. Yeah. Um, we have seen an increase in the demand for natural and authentic handmade items. Our customers are becoming more and more discerning and they're looking for sustainable goods. And as a brand, I must say, it's truly brand aligned. Yeah. We are committed to fulfill and inspired to fulfill that gap. Oh my gosh. And you do it time and time again. <laughs> if there's one thing about Woolworths, it's all about innovation, sustainability, but also partnering and empowering so many local acts. Now, when we look at South Africa and beyond the broader continent, who are we talking about when it comes to your artisans? So four of the makers we found through partnering with Design Network Africa. They come with a wealth of knowledge and they are known globally for showcasing traditional African artists um, and artisans. Um, Quasi Designs was one of the first makers we partnered with. They made all the beautiful sculptured vessels from paper mache using 100% waste paper. Sure. And the beautiful paddle, black paddle side tables were made by Taguna, again using sustainable materials. The dining textiles features the traditional craft of wax resistant printing sure. made by um, Boabab Boutique and then last but not least the beautiful stunning soft scatters were made by Majita using African cotton and it was actually dyed with fermented mud. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Then we have long-standing partnerships with Mo's Crib and Preta Pot. They are both South African based mm -hmm. so the Preta Pot collection features beautiful crockery made mm -hmm. with three locally sourced clays. Um, as you can see beautiful striped designs Wow. and then um, most scripts natural and um, authentic statement baskets were made using natural leaves and they were actually hand woven. Wow I'm yeah. loving what I'm hearing right now. I wonder if there's an overall aesthetic that you can speak to. I know the natural elements and feels are coming through. I'm picking up the different colors, the greens, the, the almost beiges. Is yes. there an aesthetic when looking at this collection? This entire collection is artisanal in, in essence mm. um, because all the items were handmade. Yeah. The palette is black, neutrals and off-whites with a touch of green and sage, um, really truly to amplify the natural aspect of the items in this collection. And I see that for sure. And I feel like it would blend so seamlessly with each other. Yes. Like if you bought a couple, put it in your home. It all works together perfectly. So the dining textiles really complement Mo's crockery yes. um, for a beautiful table setting, both indoors and outdoors. And then all the basketry again complements the scatters, oh. the rugs that come in the collection so really beautiful yeah. decor I and love that. you can actually buy the whole collection as I said the aim was to create a collectible capsule yeah I love that art that speaks to something and yes. actually means something meaning as well it's exactly yeah. Shikana I'm going to put you on the spot here it's going to be hard for you to choose some yes. standout <laughs> items from the collection but if you could what Without would you point to yes yes it is a hard one because all the items are equally stunning and equally meaningful. Yeah. Um, but I must say a personal favorite of mine has to be the sculptured vessels yeah. um, because it was made by a group of women that uses recycled newspapers. Sure. Um, and then they sculpture these vessels by hand. Yeah. Um, what truly makes it special is that it's dried by the sun rays wow. um, and which ultimately makes the entire creation process sustainable and green. Yeah. Um, another personal favorite because soft decor is so close to my heart has to be the scatters. Yeah. Um, it is made from African cotton, mud cloth. As I said, the, the cloth is actually dyed with fermented mud. So cool. um, and then it is woven on traditional hand looms wow. um, of about 15 centimeters wide. It is then stitched together to give you that true authentic feel. Yeah. And then just to finish it off with beautiful details, there's a contrast stitch mm -hmm. um, at, that truly just elevates the design. Thank you so much, Shekinah, for leading the way. I think we're going to be sorted when it comes to home decor going forward and for you of course this is something you're gonna want to have in your household designed and handcrafted by African artisans shop the African collection exclusively at Woolworths it is of course available in stores or you can find it online or on the app